He never gives up, does he? Even after he had lost his physical body, this pain in the ass person just keep on bouncing back in order to uh, take over the world and destroy the demons. Because I sit here, I think I, I think I believe that his goal in life is to take over the world. Yes, or uh, well, sometimes I'm even not sure if it's a he or a she, whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I'll say yes, he has returned. In a way, Ludusiel, the racist and extremely dangerous goddess, has returned. In a way. And how? Well, welcome to the Nanatsu no Taisai chapter 244. And I am the Angry Me Fan, the Despair Reviewer, bringing you this chapter. This is all about Margaret and the other ones. As we see um, Hendrickson and Dreyfus defeating a demon with a little bit help of... Uh, of um, Margaret, but Margaret has such weak power, so it's not really that way. She, Margaret, uh, seems very distant from them all and wishes desperately to find Gil. However, Hendrickson is also feeling a bit guilty, mostly because, well, uh, uh, he knows the fact that um, he and Hendrix, no, he and Dreyfus were the ones who caught her and Gil. A lot of a lot of suffering for ten years, so traveling with them must be unbearable. However, it's more of the fact uh, the fact that Margaret is more uh, uh, frustrated at the fact that she is powerless and helpless. So she prays every day and just wishes to save from Vivian. In the end, I guess that means that Viv that Margaret has a kind soul. Um, the so either way, suddenly uh, Margaret begins to act strange again as she walks away. Elsewhere, uh, Mar Dreyfus and um, Hendrickson have a little talk about uh, how much they have sinned and uh, what they have done and what they took away from both them and Gil. These two have finally got into the character development to uh, live in order to atone for their sins. However, given the ending of this chapter, I have a feeling like atoning for their sins have just become even more difficult. Because Margaret get, was guided to a place with a, with a broken... Well, play... Well, mm, well, no, a round ball of some... No, sorry. A mountain of some sort that was b closed except one gap. The way I look at it, it almost looked like a giant formed that thing, but I don't think that's the case. Except from a small crack, yeah, yeah, Margaret is being drawn there. Remembering the time uh, Dreyfus and Hendrickson were possessed by uh, uh, Fraudrin, they immediately rushed there to, uh, to well, save Margaret, because they believe that there may very well be yes, another trap, and in a way, they are true. But it's not a demon trap. No, it's an old druid altar of a, well, weird-looking goddess statue, if you ask me. It looks like a bearded man. The voice of the place suddenly begins to talk to Margaret. This time we hear it, who says, uh, who praises Margaret for being a bearer of a sample of a beautiful, precious soul, and that it has been waiting for someone like her, and has been her hearing her prayers. Therefore, she, that voice will grant her wish in only if she uh, uh, go do the devotion and dedication. Blind to her love for Gil. I mean, this is similar to Meliodas and Elizabeth. It's blind love that is both sweet and very foolish. Because um, now Margaret says, I, if it makes me take back Gil from Vivian, I can bear anything. Which then, uh, the voice then begins to possess uh, Margaret. Hendrickson tries to f say with Perch, unfortunately is getting blown away, as the voice reveals that they were the ones that once taught them to druids. Now the, and the voice reveals itself to be none other than Lu Ludusiel, who possesses the female body of Margaret, and as he smiles and says... Uh, uh, for this, for it to have this much affinity with my magic, this is truly the perfect vessel. Huh. Well, you wasted no time calling Margaret an it. Uh, however, Dreyfus uh, trembles and suddenly feels much rage. 
because uh, he remembers this magic even though he has never seen it before because it's not his memories, it's the memory of Frauderen. Given to the fact that when Frauderen possessed Dreyfus, apparently their memories have intertwined. Uh, so, um, so Hendrickson can only fall to his uh, knees in almost a like pray praying manner as the wings of Ludusiel shows itself towards uh, towards the two humans. Hendrickson shows some a bit of a smiling face, while Dreyfus only shows an angry face. As now the four archangel, the racist four archangel is back, this time possessing a human body, as he proclaims to the humans to join him and become part of his stigma, so they can eradicate the, de the demon clan. Well, the the story just turned took took a very huge despairing turn. Again, it's worth noting that Ludusiel called Margaret an it when he possessed her. And also, I know this is gonna sound a little bit controversial to say, but what is it with opposite sex uh, goddesses uh, who possesses opposite sexes? I mean, not that Nero Basta had a choice, but she possessed an old man's body. And now Ludusiel possesses a female body. I mean, what is with this goddess clan? Do they like to do some things like this? Well, then again, that's a controversial thing to say. So maybe it's not a, about a choice. It's just that they, they, it's whatever vessel, it's more appropriate. And for some reason, Margaret had a had a great affinity towards magic. Technically, her power level is only. 200 so I see no reason why it should have been adaptable to uh, an archangel's magic and uh, Will uh, this archangel save Gil? Highly unlikely Especially Given to the fact that Ludusiel as we all remember from the flashback Ludusiel turned out to be quite the scum He eradicated innocent demons and was not even shy of eliminating uh, even his only allies, if it was for that fact. He had a burning and absolute unstoppable hatred towards uh, the demon clan, and even now he still wishes their demise. And we all know that last time the, um, the Meliodas have now lost his memories and now intends to become the demon king. With this, the goddess clan are beginning to awake, and I have a feeling like they're gonna be drawn into the story again. And also, how will Dreyfus and Hendrickson react, with that, react on this? I mean, um, uh, uh, the fact that uh, Dreyfus is falling on his knees in almost, you know, like uh, praying like this manner, he was a druid, so it makes sense for him to worship the goddesses. However, Dreyfus said that he remembers this magic because of the memories of uh, Fraudrin. Does that mean that uh, he will remember? Well, not remember, but does that mean he will know what, uh, you know, Ludusiel did? Or is it just that he remembers his magic? Again, Ludusiel has been revived through a vessel of Margaret. Does that mean that Margaret is gone for good? Because uh, there were some hints when uh, Denzel Sack offered his body to be channeled by the goddess of Neur Neurobasta that he will no longer be able to, well come back, so in a way this means that Margaret is gone for good? Hmm. No idea. All I know is that the Goddess Clan have finally made their move. Now we have two antagonists in this story. The demons and the goddesses, because in a way neither of them are on the side of the good one. However, what kind of despair will this bring? Well, we won't know for a long time, because apparently Nero Natsumataisai will not have a chapter next week. They will taking a break and resume in two weeks, I think. Next chapter is called March of the Saints. Is that the meant to imply that uh, stigma will be revived? Will we see the other archangels or and will we finally see the fourth archangel, the one who everyone claims is the most dangerous of them all? Also, Dreyfus and Hendrickson are two, so does that 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 would make them very likely to be possessed by the other two, you know, Tarmael and Samael. But who knows? Give me your thoughts if you have any.